first of all, remember Peter experienced this change in adolescence at the exact time where he is going through change in identity to become normal Peter Parker. That's a tough enough uh, stage if your pre-adolescent development was healthy, there's no real traumas, your parents are firm but loving. When you add a major life-changing event um, like Peter Parker had in which the, the very DNA of his being is being now altered and he has a rapid ascension into basically manhood. He feels all the primary and secondary traits of masculinity, uh, increased strength, increased agility, increased awareness. There's no time for Peter to catch up. There's no time to find out who he is. He is not born this way, he wasn't raised this way. It's not like a person that has a, a handicap of some sort, but they don't know any different. Uh, Peter knew different. And I think probably the mask and the, the whole thing is lets him come to grips with this character and this alter ego and this persona in as safe a way as he can. It's much like a professional actor who might be nervous and insecure in a personal life when they're saying their own words, but when they put uh, reading a script in another character, they can be in front of millions of people, it doesn't phase them. It's not them, they're play, playing somebody else. And I think Peter's uh, assimilation of the Spider-Man uh, identity uh, needed this completely closed mask uh, persona.